I'm John Lockwood from Crafts 2 and in this technique video I want to show you how to use the new Kaleido machine from Crafts 2 which is a multi-use die cutting, embossing, foiling and technique machine and this technique video I'm going to show you how to use this as a basic die cutting machine and how we can use our basic dies and embossing folders through it. So I'm going to start with a standard thin die and this one is a John Next Door die. Um, this is Ding to Crip Butterflies, which I've used through most of the technique videos that I've been doing. So your standard way to die cut, we're going to do first. So we've got plate combination of our base plate, our five mil plate, our card, then our die, which is taped down, our three mil plate on top, and we simply run that through. I'll bring the machine in and you can see, engage the plates, turn the handle. And if you're, uncon if you're concerned, you can always come backwards, which helps it take that second pass. And this is great with intricate dies. But I'm using this one and I'm actually using a piece of Craft Artist satin card, simply because this is obviously a coated card, so this is a harder one to cut but we have all these really intricate antennae on the butterfly. So it shows that it will work with your intricate dies. So there we simply got through all of those butterflies with no problems at all. Now there is another benefit on the Kaleido machine um, that we've put in for die cutting, and that is we've made the base magnetic. So if you don't like using tape or you want to place dies in a set way, what you can actually do is alter your sandwich so I'm going to put the three mil plate on the bottom. I'm going to put the, I'll put the clean side. I'm going to put the base down. I can then put my die onto the place plate and watch, it's magnetically held in place, which allows me then to simply put the card on top, put my five mil on top, and die cut that so I don't actually have to need any tape. And that's quite useful if you're making frames and you want to get them spaced exactly the same. So again, pull backwards if I want to, I don't need to, but it's another way to do it. I take that one off. I'm making sure I only cut into my five mil plate every time. And once again, here are all my butterflies. So that's your basic two ways of using a thin die to actually cut through in the Kaleido. However, we also want to emboss in it. We say that it is an embossing machine. So here I've got a 3D embossing folder and you may need to change the plate combination depending on the folder that you're using. But this is one of the John Next Door ones. So I'm just gonna put again a piece of the satin card in because it works. I'm putting the folder with the card in straight down onto my base plate and then try the five inch plate, the five millimeter plate, sorry, first. Bring my machine in, engage the plates and turn. And you can see that's the right sandwich, runs through once it engages and I get a beautiful crisp emboss. There we go, I've gone for a deboss this time. You can see there, emboss and deboss and works absolutely perfectly. And again, different folders from different companies may require different pressure. So one of the reasons that we've complete, we've made sure in this machine you have got a five mil plate and two three mil plates. So if you find there isn't enough pressure with the five mil plate, you can use two three mil plates, which will increase the pressure on that for the folder. If you find it's too much, you can use just one of the three mil plates. And if you need extra pressure inside your machine, then available as a separate item from Crafts 2 is the A5 metal shim. And this will again add a little bit more pressure or help with more intricate dies or if your machine is starting to age and it eases up a little bit. The other reason we've included two of the three mil plates is so that you can use your Kaleido with your deep dish or your big dies. So if you want to cut a big sty, and here I've got one from Tim Holtz, and I've got a little bit of, um, this is probably very, very too tough to cut, to be honest, this is very thick chipboard, but we'll give it a go. So what you would do is you place your die, I do it face up, onto one of the three mil plates, 
put your card on top, a second three mil plate on top, and this one is the one that you're going to cut into. So you need to remember to keep one of them clean. And again, I'm just gonna engage that, use the looser side first and just make sure. I've got a feeling this card may be a little bit too thick. So come on, in we go. It's engaged, yeah. A little bit harder to engage and to turn, but that fits through perfectly. And remember the deep dish dies are very sharp, so be careful with them, but it also is so that you can cut very thick materials. So here I've got my tailor's dummy, my cotton reel and my button cut perfectly with your Kaleido. So this means that any die that is A5 or smaller can be used in your Kaleido machine, including Sizzix Originals dies, the big wooden dies, the bigs and deep dish dies. So anything that you can fit into this aperture and onto the plates will cut perfectly with your Kaleido. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.